And anyway, what I want to show today is how I'm using Airtable to do what is probably one of the most important functions in online business, online marketing, uh, which is SEO, search engine optimization. Now, what has been happening as I've gotten deeper and deeper into SEO in the past um, six months or so, and really trying to learn as much as I can and apply as much as I can, is that I'm finding a lot of these really good resources online. So, for example, I found a really good post from this guy, Daniel Cartridge, who runs, I think it's called On Page Academy. It's a Facebook group. And he also runs this agency called PathTorch. And just yesterday, he posted his first official post on that website. Now, he's posted on Medium and in the group and so forth, but this is the first official post for the website. And reading through this post, there were a lot of little items that could sort of be a checklist of things to do on a page. So if, if I'm optimizing a particular page, I'd want to be able to go through this checklist and make sure are all of these things being done correctly or if it's something to avoid doing or those things not being done. And so in, in essence, it becomes a list of issues, which is why we have an issues table here. And I'll explain how this works in just a moment. Before I get there, let me just go back to this resource page. Now, I've got this one really good resource, but there are many, many other good resources, whether they be blog posts or PDFs or recordings of calls or courses. And inevitably what happens is the difficulty in translating the theory or the presentation of various how-tos into practice stuffs a lot of people up, myself included, which is why I've decided to try and take all of those resources, combine them under one roof, extract the the step-by-step -step, um, things that need to be done, the, the checklist essentially, make it into a checklist and have a central place to track optimizations for every page I may optimize at any given time. And you can see just for the purposes of this demo, I've only got two resources listed here. So we've got a, a, a page or a post from uh, Daniel Cutridge on pathtorch.com. We've also got an, a post from uh, diggitymarketing.com and I actually didn't list the actual post, but I am thinking of a particular post. I just didn't go out and find it. But uh, what you would do is you would just list all of the various resources here. And then what we do is we have a separate table called issues, or it could be called whatever you want to call it. Actually, unhook that. It could be called whatever you want to hook, uh, call it, hook it. And what we do is then we, we take all of the things listed in a particular post and we create, a, quote, an issue or a task out of it. Maybe we, sh maybe we should call this uh, tasks, but whatever. And you can see I've got two hidden fields. So let me actually reveal those so, I, so you can see the structure of this table. Now, we've got the particular fix, the on-page fix in question listed here. And then we've got the resource from which we've extracted that particular optimization. And in this case, all of these are the, the uh, fixes related to that path torch post and actually if we click on it it'll bring up the information about that post in the linked record back to the resources table okay and of course you can also add whatever type you want so we've got you know technical SEO on page off page you can add priority order numbers or however you want to organize the sort of order of operations um, you want to maybe 80 20 some of some of this stuff um, and then you've got your how-to long text field where you actually would explain how to do that particular optimization. Or it could even just be a link to like a jump link that explains how to do it. Or it could be a video, a link to uh, an SOP that you have um, in-house. And now you can see too, we've got a grouping here. Let me actually ungroup this so I could show you why I did that. In this raw, unfiltered view, we're basically just listing all of the optimizations that we find in a particular post. Okay, so I've got all of these PathTorch post optimizations that I extracted from that particular post. 
And then just by as a way of example, um, I've got this sort of made up optimization, use WebP images that let's say I found on Diggity's uh, blog. Now, it may actually be an optimization that is present in both articles because many on-page optimization guides will tell you to compress your images or to use WebP images. We don't want to repeat those. So we want to deduplicate that item so that we can sort of say, okay, we've done all of these particular optimizations, but just because we did all of the PathTorch technical on-page fixes, when we then move on to the Diggity's on-page fixes, we don't wind up sort of going, oh, did we do image compression? Then you spend time like trying to figure that out. You already know. You already did it in a previous, from a previous resources uh, guide. And what we then do is we want to say, okay, well, let me see all of the, um, let me group according to which resource those optimizations belong to. And so we're actually going to group by resource. And you can see here in the first uh, case, we've got the use WebP images optimization. We've got it, it's been pulled from both articles, right? So it comes from the PathTorch post and it comes from a, a Diggity post. And um, we could actually even create filters that will prevent this item from being shown in more than one place. So you know for sure you're never going to sort of repeat that optimization. Um, although once you see the next table, you'll see that it's actually going to be pretty hard to do that, to, 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 uh, to duplicate your efforts accidentally because of the way we've set this up. So we've got all of these different optimizations, you know, fixed orphaned URLs, maybe that's a pretty important one and you could assign like a you know priority of one to it. And what I like to do, uh, this is just a little Airtable pro tip, is I like to keep the names minimal or minimalistic. So for example, item, right? Type, priority, but then use the description field to indicate in, in more depth what that actually means. So priority, you can come up with whatever priori prioritization convention you want. But when we click on add field description or edit field description, we say, okay, in this particular case, we're going to use a one to five scale where one is the highest priority. Okay, easy. And that doesn't clog up your real estate here because we've got this little info tooltip where we can actually see what that is trying to say. We just know it's priority. And this tells us, well, how is that priority measured? Okay. Um, and obviously, too, because we're in Airtable, we can organize according to anything. We could say, okay, let me see all of the technical optimizations I can make. Let me see all of the on-site optimizations I can make. Okay. Once you've sort of tagged everything according to type and priority and, and linked everything correctly, then filtering and creating views for particular things becomes super, super easy. Now, where it really gets cool, I think, is the ability now to track all of these optimizations as we perform them on various pages. So using our website as an example, we've got our homepage, which is memberfix.rocks. And we've also got another page, which is our landing page for our flagship service, which is called also Memberfix. Uh, maybe we should give it a different name so that we're not cannibalizing our own brand. Uh, but what we want to say is, okay, let's say on a particular date, and let me ungroup this so that I can explain to you how I, how I arrived at all of this. Let's say that on a particular date, uh, which is today, 10-18-2019, uh, I did the following optimizations for the homepage. Now, how do I know that I'm doing a particular optimization? Well, it's because I'm linking to a task that I pulled from the issues table. Okay. And each optimization gets its own line in this scheme. And we'll say, okay, for memberfix.rocks, member we're going to do this optimization. Is it completed? Yes, cool. Okay, now we're going to do this optimization. Is it completed? Yes, cool. And this is actually a lookup field that checks inside the the issues um, table and pulls the how to text out of it, so that you don't actually have to like open up 
the record, look at where the how, what the how-to is, or go over to that table, it'll just automatically populate here based on what the record you have in here. And any notes that you need to put go here. And But let's say that we did those optimizations today, and then we needed to do more optimizations on another date, maybe even the same optimizations, right? Uh, like let's say we did add two plus internal links to followed internal linking URLs. Okay, we did that on the 18th. Maybe we need to do that again on the 31st. So we're going to, again, select the linked record that corresponds to that particular issue or task, or maybe I should call it tasks because issues is a little bit muddy nomenclature. And then let's say, okay, well, we did this on the 18th and we did it on the 31st. Cool. Now, we also need to be able to separate, like, not only according to date, but also according to which page that we optimize. So I might have done, you know, a particular optimization for the home page. Now I need to do that same optimization for our services landing page. So what do we do? We're going to say, we're going to create a grouping, and the field by which, the primary field by which we're going to group is the URL field, right? So member fix rocks. We made these optimizations on such and such a date, but you can see that the, all of the dates are sort of combined together. So we want to create a secondary grouping that breaks this out by date. And I like to go reverse chronological so that I could see what's most recently happened. And you can see, okay, on the 31st, although that actually hasn't transpired yet, uh, we will have done, will have had done uh, this optimization. And on the 18th, which is today, we did these other optimizations. And we can see up here in the upper left-hand corner that it's annotated to say which page this is for, which URL does this actually apply to. And then these are subgroupings, right? So this is the main grouping, this big old box right here. And these smaller two boxes are the, are the organizational units revolving around dates. Okay, and then the same is the case for the landing page, memberfix.rocks slash memberfix. We've got uh, our primary grouping, which is the URL, which is why it's in a separate box. And then we've got secondary groupings, which is date. And in this case, the date is 1031, and this one is empty, which is why it's sort of empty here below. Of course, you can also organize this by like which tasks have been completed which tasks have been completed for a particular page. You can create views for particular pages for particular customers. I mean, the once you have all of this actually in here, that is to say, once you've populated the resources table and the issues table with all of the possible, excuse me, with all of the possible uh, optimizations that you, you could make, then all you gotta do in pages is indicate which page you're optimizing, which optimizations you want to make to that page, and then you just track track them. And you could even add like a who field where like, okay, who is making this optimization from your team, which would link back to a people table, if you've seen our uh, masterclass on Airtable, and it would pull from the team view and say, okay, well today Vic, did such and such an optimization and it would indicate that okay Vic did it which serves as sort of an audit log so if you have some problem with your SEO and you track a, a particular optimization you see it wasn't done right you can go back to your team member and say hey uh, we had this problem I can see that you performed this optimization here's where it was done incorrectly let's update our SOP and our training and, and, and have a chat and make sure that you understand how this is done and fix it so that in the future when you make that optimization it's happening um, correctly and, and quickly. So um, this is a, a very kind of minimalistic version of what could expand to be a very uh, large and sophisticated sort of master database slash uh, to-do list of sorts or, or almost like tracker um, for your all of your SOP efforts. Because I think the reason I decided to do this is because it's just too overwhelming to have all of these different resources, and some of them also may, may have contradictory advice, like uh, silo, how to silo, should you silo, 
stuff like that. And you can just post all of those and you can even indicate like, okay, what is the, let's say the, you, you give a ranking of how, how certain you are that a particular optimization works. For example, we know that uh, internal linking works, okay? And then, but there's like an anchor text issue, whatever. But we don't really know how well siloing works because some people break that rule, still rank really well. So siloing is kind of a contentious issue. So you could rate um, which optimizations you would do and maybe again in an 80-20 analysis and say, okay, we, we know this these optimizations for sure result in better rankings and better user experience. Okay, let's do those first. And then all of this sort of, you know, once you're in, in the in the diminishing returns portion of the graph, you can say, okay, now we can experiment with these other more contentious optimizations. And in this way, you have everything in one place. Uh, and by the way, I haven't even gotten into the blocks features of Airtable, which, which gives you even more functionality, even more visibility on your data. And um, that is the sort of, uh, the, that's a 30,000 foot view for this particular base. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know, and I'll be happy to help out.